Hi everyone, it's Molly. I just want to start off apologizing because I know I promised this video like two weeks ago and I had it recorded. I had it ready to um, edit and for some reason my ancient apparently computer refuses to allow me to edit the footage from my camera. So I had to reshoot from my iPhone only to find that I cut my own head off in the voiceover part. So I am just doing a voiceover over the original video and then I am going to append the footage I have of me in the dress so you can see how it actually ended up fitting. Um, if you want to see this footage of the dress itself not on me, um, go ahead and check out my first video where I did a basic out-of-the-bag review um, where I had not yet um, filmed the dress on me. So that is already posted. I'm going to try to get this posted. I also recorded the sequin bridesmaid dress um, review tonight, and I should be getting that posted in the next day or two. Um, this one, guys... Uh, it was bad. This dress, they had all of my measurements and they did not make it right. I am only four foot 11. I have some unusual measurements granted, but any seamstress worth their weight should know that if you have someone with very short measurements, you need to compensate for that throughout the measurements, including the torso, and their seamstress did not do that, so I'm guessing they are just scaling a standard pattern. This means that on me, the hip measurement came down around my mid-thigh area, so where the dress should have flared out for my hips was actually where a normal waistline would have been. So the dress bunched up around my hips, didn't fit properly, therefore wouldn't lace properly, and it just looks like a hot mess. Actually, I'm not even... I take that back. It just looks like a mess. Um, the good side of it is, if you're low on funds, if you need a cheap wedding dress, you wear close to a stock size... Something like this could work for you. Um, keep in mind, you are paying for stolen intellectual property. If you have an issue with that, don't go the Chinese dress route. Um, also keep in mind that you will probably need at least two crinolines or petticoats um, to fluff out this dress um, properly because a lot of Chinese knockoffs do not have any type of crinoline lining underneath. So keep that in mind when you're figuring out your budget and expect to accommodate for that extra expense. You could go with a hoop skirt, but they do tend to look kind of funny. And this dress, as you will see with it on me, um, I show it with me wearing one ball gown crinoline that I actually have with my David's bridal dresses. That's where I bought it. And it looks okay as far as the length. When I show it the second time with no crinoline, you can tell it is obviously about three inches too short. And it just looks really bad. So I said before that if you needed like the custom length, you'd probably be okay with it. I take that back. Go with whatever their standard length is or longer and have it altered by a capable seamstress because, again, I would much rather, if you're going this route, you guys end up having to take it to a seamstress to have it shortened than get a dress that's too short and you can't wear it and now you're out $160, $170. And I'll admit, I tried to get my money back for this dress through AliExpress's uh, customer protection and I ended up settling with the seller for about 50% because no matter what proof I showed, they absolutely would not bend and AliExpress was siding with them. It was obviously the dress was not made properly, but they still sided with the seller. So if you're expecting their buyer protection to protect you, don't. Um, this is definitely a case of buyer beware. 
this um the shop was everlasting love wedding dress um i will also put a link to this dress specifically down in the comment uh, the descriptions um other than that guys i yeah the the video speaks for itself the lacing's awful so yeah it looks like a busted can of biscuits no joke um the you can tell where it's bunched up at my hips you can see where it's too short and of course there's also the consideration that the t being too short could possibly be part of the hip issue so take that with a grain of salt i'm trying to give you guys the most honest review i possibly can so like i said take that all with a grain of salt and let's get on to the video <laughs> 